Good morning, America. I'm Scott Binsack, founder of March for America. Thank you for joining me. It is Sunday, January 15, 2017. Hope everybody's having a great morning. Get people up on this feed. Get everybody on here. We're only five days away from Donald Trump becoming the 45th President of the United States. Good morning, Gail. How are you? And lots of uh, things happening on. Hi, John. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. No, it's good morning still. <laughs> good morning, Danetta. How are you? Good morning, Dawn. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Hope everybody weathered that storm if you're out, you know, out west. Lots of ice. Lots of people without power today. Hi, Roger. How are you? Five days away, everybody. Five days away. Good morning, Becky. How are you? Hi, Laura. How you doing? Good morning, Arlene. Steve, hi Tabitha, there's my incredible prayer lady Regina, Regina Hawks Turner everybody is an uh, incredible lady, uh, she's an MFA's prayer warrior, good morning Steve, a lot of news going on today, Hi, Mark. Good morning, sir. I'm just letting this feed pick up. Say good morning to everybody. Hi, Trevor. How you doing? Good morning, Pam, from Down Under. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Natasha. Hi, Corey. How you doing? Five long days, yes, Missy, <laughs> and it will be five long days. But today, you know, I want to focus on the positive, uh, with some updates on the negative. But um, uh, yes, uh, Sue, you end today. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of ice going on all over the place. <laughs> a lot of ice everywhere. Hope everybody's safe. Ice is not a funny thing. Ice is what sent me off a mountain <laughs> in 1999 black ice uh, in my vehicle, and it was never fun since then. Good morning, Liz. How are you? Hi, Melissa. I got to love our Australian followers and dear friends from Australia. They are uh, incredible people from the land down under. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn. How are you? Good morning. Good morning to all the haters. Hi. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hope I can make your morning bright. Um, good morning, Becky. How are you? Hi, Lisa. You're wishing it was cold there, huh? <laughs> I don't know about that. Good morning, Stephanie. Uh, yes, Helen. Uh, Porcelli did back out. I posted that just a few minutes ago. Uh, you know what? Who cares? Pack your shit, Porcelli. Have a nice day. Um, good morning, Judy. Uh, Rochelle, I went to Trump National Golf Cool Club yesterday and picked up some Trump uh, label sparkling wine. Very nice. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Diane. From sunny Florida. <laughs> Hi, Marson. What's up, buddy? Is B. Barnes a troll? Uh, we'll find out. Uh, I believe so, Osvaldo. Now that I'm thinking about it. Good morning, Liz. Uh, Natasha, my husband's concerned that you don't sleep enough. Um, I actually just... I got some sleep. <laughs> uh, I, I need a lot of sleep. After this inauguration, I'm going to catch up on sleep for like two days. <laughs> uh, 
For sure. There's no time, you know, when you're fighting this resistance, there's like no time to, to, <laughs> to sleep. Uh, there's a much bigger agenda here, and <laughs> that's what people... But today, you know, I want to focus on something that people seem to be forgetting. And Kellyanne Conway was on Fox and Friends this morning, and, uh, you know, she made some great points to where people who voted for Trump, people seem to forget with all this negativity going on and these liberals pulling this, this crap, you know, that Russia did it in trying to delegitimize Donald Trump's presidency and them not recognizing, basically, these liberals and Democrats creating all-out war against Trump and thus his voters and trying to delegitimize his presidency seem to forget one thing, that the American voters are the ones who put this man in power, not the Russians, not any hacks, not WikiLeaks, not, you know, Comey, not, not any of the above. It was the good American citizens of this country that put Trump into power, and they're the same people that are going to fight for Trump and overcome this negativity and this assault on his, his future as president of the United States. He has already done tremendous things for this country and not even been sworn in as a president. So people need to focus on that, and I know there's a lot of negativity even around his inauguration and the like, but we can't focus on that. Yes, stand up to it, but don't focus on it because that that is just letting them win. That is letting them, that that is letting these people, uh, the, these, these, they're mad. These people are madness. It's, it's like complete madness. Uh, and they actually watching them and listening to them, they really believe that, you know, the Russians, if it weren't for the Russians and the like, Hillary Clinton would be president, when in fact that's not the case, even close, and we're working on something, as I told you guys yesterday, that I believe is going to work 100% to prove that regardless of the Russians, or alleged Russian BS, alleged everything, that Donald Trump is truly the elected president of the United States, and that everybody should recognize that out of respect these liberals and the like and the powers that be, the globalists, are, are trying to undercut and undermine the American voting system and thus our democracy. This is not the Russians doing that. In fact, they have twisted this and by claiming the Russians are doing this are delegitimizing our own election process to try to make it that Hillary Clinton is the, you know, should have been the winner of this election. Well, if you look at the Electoral College, that's impossible. And no voter, no Russian or the like forced you to vote for Donald Trump or changed your mind with fake news or the like. People were just fed up in this country of Barack Obama and the Dems and the lies and the corruption and our country's future being at stake and voted, you know, no to any more of it. They just don't, didn't want any more. We don't want any more of this. They seem to not be able to grasp the fact, uh, the Democrats cannot grasp this. They cannot grasp that people stood up in this country and said, we don't want any more. It didn't have, Russia didn't have to tell us that. Uh, you know, the CIA didn't have to tell us that. Comey didn't have to tell us that. WikiLeaks didn't have to tell us that. People figured it out on their own, and by, uh, and by, they're coming forward with this, and I'm calling it, it's the, it's the great U.S. lie. This is like the great U.S. lie, and they're using this great U.S. lie of the Russians hacking the system and the like to really smash down our democracy, and they're really harming this country instead of trying to help it. They think that they're helping it by fighting for this cause, but when in fact they're harming our country because they're just feeding into, we'll just say, uh, our foreign, our foreign you know, enemies who want to disrupt the United States. They are just feeding them and giving them what they do want. And it didn't take Russia to hack it. It just took this false story to come out that Hillary Clinton and Obama and the likes have put out there along using our intelligence communities, which is not unknown. I mean, it's happened in the past. Uh, just because there are intelligence agencies doesn't mean that they are good. Uh, that, that doesn't take away from the good people and the patriots that do work within those uh, organizations. But what they have done now is truly given our enemies what they wanted. They wanted disruption in the American democratic process, these, these communist countries, 
uh, from China and Russia to the like. And these people are feeding it, and the globalists like Obama and Hillary Clinton are using these Democrats and liberals to actually feed this fire and trying to dump it on Trump, when in fact it's their own fault, it's their own creation, and it's the great U.S. lie. It is a huge lie, and it is being perpetrated across to millions of Americans, and this is what's giving Russia and China and our enemies the upper hand because they are they are they are fracturing what little what system we had left thanks to Barack Obama after eight years. They are fracturing that and, and calling it into question and giving them exactly what they wanted and trying to use Trump to do it and they don't even see this. They don't even see what they're doing is undermining the United States as a whole. They think that they're fighting for something in this country that is, you know, because they don't like Donald Trump or they think that Hillary Clinton got cheated, when in fact Hillary Clinton was the cheater. Hillary Clinton was the cheater. She was the rigger. She was the, you know, uh, she was the main puppet with Obama and the likes, with George Soros backing them, which there's pure enough evidence of the like, and I don't see many people discussing that, of how uh, a man who is responsible for the death of millions, basically, uh, if you want to collectively put it together, since he's come into his mission to overtake the world with globalism and backed by the elite. Nobody's calling this into play because they're focusing all on one thing, this, this, that Donald Trump is the illegitimate president, and when in fact he's not. He's very legitimate, and they do not want to face the fact, they really just don't want to face the fact that 60 some odd million Americans in this country were tired of the bullshit. They were tired and they've woken up and they've woken up to their lies and their, their whole plan and their agenda. And people were just are tired. That's what this is about. This is about people in America. Uh, this is about people in America really just and the, the silent majority who stood up, who people who have never voted before. You can't tell me that people who never voted before were misled by the Russians, okay, or, or even misled by WikiLeaks. These people just wanted change. They wanted, they're tired of high insurance premiums. They're tired of not having a job. They're tired of their taxpaying dollars going to people on food stamps and welfare. They're tired of open borders and people streaming in our country. They're tired of living in fear. They're tired of their children not being educated properly. They're tired of... Uh, you know, not having any security of that, of refugees coming across and streaming into our country and them getting benefits and them paying for it. Uh, they're tired of, you know, mid-America where our corporations are leaving and not putting back anything to our society. They're tired of not being the superpower in the world anymore and our military men and women going across to fight wars that are useless and only powerful for the globalists. They're tired, uh, you know, they're completely tired of a system that's become socialistic instead of that of real they are tired, and that's what got Donald Trump elected, because Donald Trump is not a politician. Donald Trump is not one of them. Donald Trump is one of us. Yes, he's a billionaire, but he himself, you know, has failed and come back up just like every other American there is, regardless of where he came from, money or not. He's had his own successes and his own failures, and you can never take that away from the men, even though they've tried to delegitimize him since the beginning. How many people said no, and they laughed, and they said, this is not going to happen, and, you know, he's never going to be elected. That's impossible. That's impossible. Then all you ever heard is never, 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 never. And they, the Democrats banked on this. They banked on this. But they are the ones that cheated. And now in turn have tried to flip this around and put it on uh, Donald Trump. And gone to some serious extremes to the point where Obama is pulling his strings with his connections within the CIA, NSA, and the likes to come up with this great big U.S. lie. And it is a great big lie. And by giving, and people are actually buying into this. Congressmen and senators alike are buying this bullshit because they don't think that they don't want to question the integrity of our intelligence community. When you look at the history of the CIA and the FBI and the NSA, the NSA has gotten caught red-handed as Snowden has exploded to this to the world, exposed this to the world of even spying on us on a regular basis instead of our enemies more so. This point I'm trying to make is that. The reality is people need a reality check. The reality is that our government is corrupt. The reality is is that there are globalists that control the planet. There are people that control your paycheck every day and the banking that you do in the system. They control everything that happens in this country and around the world. This is the reality, and the reality is this is not some big matrix that, that the, the 
Democrats have created over the past X amount of years, and people have fallen into this great matrix to believe that our society is something when in fact it's not, and they are sheep that have been led, turned into cattle, being led to the slaughter. Well, understand this. People have awoken and are rising up more and more every day to stop this. They are awake. Understand this. This is what got Donald Trump elected. And people need to remember this and stop, don't pay attention to, yes, we report the news of this horribleness, try to stop the negativity. But at the same time, people need to realize that their vote did count. That their vote is, it, it, it did count. It made it is because of everyone who voted for Donald Trump and said no to this great matrix system that has been created that says, I, we don't want any more of your bullshit. We don't want, you know, we're tired. We're, we're tired. We want to protect our children's futures, our grandchildren's futures. We want to protect this country. We want to protect its constitution. We want to bear arms. We want, you know, we want freedom of speech. We want God back in our classrooms. We want God back in our courtrooms. We want God back across this country the way what with America was based on. We do not want, you know... Uh, Christianity or Judaism or anything of the like taken out of our choice and freedom of this in this country. People have said enough is enough. And that's what won this election. And it was one man who decided that, you know, he didn't have to do this. People seem to forget this. He didn't have to do this. He didn't need money. He didn't need power. He had all of that. This man has sacrificed his life, his family, his name, and the likes to run for president and got elected. There's no motive here except that the motive is is that Donald Trump wanted to make America great again. That was the motive. There was no secret and hidden agenda. There's nothing, and this is the point. He didn't conspire with the Russians. He didn't have any meetings with his people to get him, you know, with Putin to say, oh, okay, come on, we're going to put you in his presence so you can lift the sanctions against Russia. Not. Okay. People need to remember that their vote did People need to see through the, the media corruption, the lies, the deception, and this great big U.S. lie. Because the Russians did not hack the DNC, or the Russians did not, with fake news or the like, affect this election. This is completely uh, a fabricated false flag story, and in order to just delegitimize this great big loss... You know, this is a huge, to, to, to delegitimize Trump over this great big loss. And this is a massive loss to the Dems. People, you need to understand something. We were on the verge of possibly, once and for all, crushing the Democratic Party in the United States. Understand this, and this is why they're scared. This is why they're nervous. This is why they don't want Trump around. This is why they want to delegitimize his presidency. And they want you to believe that the Russians helped him do it. You know who helped him do it? You and I and everyone else who stood up for him and traveled all over, you know, bikers for Trump, Chris Cox, all the, anybody and everybody, and I'm just saying, Alex Stone, everybody who's, and there's so many people, and there's thousands and thousands of people, millions of people actually, who, who made this possible. There's no way in the world that the Russians could have affected every one of our votes. There's no way, the, in the, with fake news or not, people are not idiots. And they're trying to call you, and anybody who voted for Trump is trying to say, listen, you're an idiot. You, you fell for some big Russian bullshit to vote for Donald Trump. And that is a disgrace, because they are really shitting on every American that vote for Donald Trump. And people seem to be missing that. So as these liberal crybabies keep going out there, and from senators to congressmen to Hollywood to, to whoever, okay, go out there and say, you know what, he... he, he no, he only won because of this. Just remember something. These people are shitting on every one of you. Every one of your votes is to them is zero. Okay? And that should be the biggest shame to, Do to Barack Obama, to Hillary Clinton, to all of these, to like the head of our CIA, NSA, FBI. You're shitting on America. You're shitting on 62 plus million citizens in this country and good patriots who did stand up and vote for this president based on their own, their own choice their free choice to do just that, to see through fake news, to see through, you know, lies, to see Hillary Clinton for who she truly is, and to see the Democratic Party for who they really are, and not this alleged leg legacy of Obama. There is no legacy. The legacy that's been left is something that's been done good and will stand. And in five days, most things are going to fall. There is nothing, I mean, they're going to, Donald Trump is coming in and pulling all of these, a lot of these, uh, 
maddening orders, executive orders from President Barack Obama who have you know, caused this country to be where they are. This is, this is what people have to remember. Don't look in and remember, you know, the, and, and don't, don't stop fighting. Don't, this is just the beginning. People need to fight for this, and they need to fight to protect their vote and thus this country. Because if you give these people an inch, they will continue with this madness. And the only way to beat the madness is to, to stay strong and to stay educated and to stay positive and understand the good things that are coming with this presidency and the good things that have already started to come with this presidency because they will try and do anything, anything that they can to interrupt that process. And they will try to interrupt that process. So don't remember, don't forget, and always remember, it was your vote that got Donald Trump elected, not the Russians, not, you know, not, not the CIA, not some alleged report, you know, from golden showers in Russia and all this crap, not some alleged rape, you know, that never happened with Donald Trump or sexual allegations that he smacked Miss, Miss you know, uh, Finland's ass or whatever. I, I'm using an example. This is, if you look at the ridiculousness of all of these allegations that have happened through this election all the way up till now, that the Russians did it, you see, you know what you see? You see desperation. You see... You see lies. You see manipulation. You see the truth, and people have seen the truth. People have woken up to see the truth that this is one. They have been creating this. I call it the matrix because people believe one thing when, in fact, something else is going on, and they mislead people, and they, they're like sheep going to, like I said, now have become cattle going to the slaughter. The difference is this. We won. The difference is Trump won. And he won fair and square. And when you see the likes of congressmen like uh, Lewis and the rest come out and say, you know, I do not recognize Trump's uh, presidency. Really, congressman, a man who stood up for civil rights in this country and to protect this and had his skull bashed in, you know, and, and Lewis has been through a lot. For you to come out and say that you think Donald Trump's presidency is uh, illegitimate, you know, I don't recognize him as a president. Uh, makes me really wonder how, how, you know, how much have you gotten paid, Lewis? What are you being promised to do this to turn your back on the truth? Because it's a shame, and it's a true shame. You're turning your back on Americans who you, who you fought for, okay, to protect for civil rights on the black community alone, and, you know, you're getting sucked into this great liberal machine, and you're getting desperate, and you're showing your desperation. These people are showing their desperation to even come out and fake these reports, where when any logical person can read these CIA alleged you know, reports, that and, and NSA and FBI, there's nothing there. It's a bunch of, it's, it's all spin. And yet they have yet to prove any, any involvement to where the Russians changed your vote my vote or anyone who voted for Donald Trump. And these people, even as of today on the news, that's what I tried to tell you, this is what's coming. Everything is going to be that they believe that Donald Trump conspired with the Russians. This is the new, this is the new MO, everybody. This is the new MO because the other plans didn't work either. They didn't catch on fire. I mean, they caught some fire with the liberals, but they didn't catch enough fire to do anything or anything because people are smart. I mean, there are a lot, you know, millions and millions of people are very smart, and they're not stupid to buy into the bullshit. And, uh, you know, it is very too obvious, as, as one of my listeners here is saying, Carolyn, it is too obvious their desperation. I mean, they have gone from one tactic to the next 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 tactic. And this is what's happening, you know? So that their tactics have been nothing of, but they show them all. They show them all. And quite obvious. They're quite obvious. So please, keep in mind what got us here to begin with and what's going to happen over the next four years. Because there's a new sheriff in town and no matter what they throw at us, we need to be strong and throw it right back and overcome this, this, this unconstitutional, unethical falsehoods to undermine your vote. Because your vote did count and does count, and 
It's what got Donald Trump to the presidency to begin with. Remember that. Please remember that your vote is what got you there and not this, this farce of agenda and this great big U.S. lie, because that's exactly what this is. And they're looking to suck us into a war, World War III. They're looking to dump it in Donald Trump's lap. They're looking to dump Israel in Donald Trump's lap and that, things. This is Barack Obama doing this. This is the globalists doing this. This is Hillary Clinton doing this. Because Hillary Clinton needs to grasp onto something. She needs to grasp onto something because her, her brain cannot accept that she lost. And she lost because she was a poor candidate. They picked the wrong person. And how people could even support her is the scariest part. How do you support a woman who has scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal, who's gotten caught even cheating with her own candidate, you know, with Bernie Sanders? Excuse the noise, they're vacuuming in here. It's Sunday, so I apologize. Um, it should be over in a second. Um, you cannot become complacent, but most of all, you cannot forget that it is your vote that got Donald Trump elected. So don't lose sight of that. You're vacuuming in here, so <laughs> I apologize. Um, and point being, don't lose sight of the truth. And the truth is, we are all responsible for we are all responsible for Donald Trump being elected, not the Russians. Nobody else, okay? It doesn't matter. They could throw you the kitchen sink, okay? They're going to come at... They're desperate people. Desperate people do desperate things. And... I'm sorry, I'm reading some of the comments. The truth is, Hillary Clinton, thank God, was not elected. And thank God America had woke up to see that she shouldn't be elected. And regardless of this same thing allegations, they still say it now. Oh, my God. She won the popular vote in this. If you take out the fake, the, the illegal immigrants that voted in California alone and the likes, and if, let's just split California off the United States, Donald Trump won the popular vote. And here's a good point to point out. If the Russians, inv if the Russians interfere with our elections, then why didn't Donald Trump, and, and they conspire with Donald Trump, why didn't he win the popular vote with California and all? I mean, let's let's look at it this time. Let's look at, you know, if they really interfere, if they really, really interfere with our elections to cause there to be a swing in, 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 in voting, then why didn't he win California and the likes of it? You guys are, in, yeah. And, and the likes of it. Why didn't they? <laughs> um... And she's gone nowhere. Her record in politics is zero. And Donald Trump pointed this out. Donald Trump made it clear to the world, listen, this is who this woman is. She's got nothing on there. You watched her lie to the world. You watched her get caught cheating. You watched her to go to the lowest lengths to even cut Bernie Sanders and the Democratic Party, you know, the DNC. They got caught. They got caught. And people still follow this woman and believe that she is like this, you know, savior on earth. This is what people should be scared of because these people will bring down America, meaning if, you will, if we allow them to. That's what people should be scared of because these people, are, you know, I don't know about y'all, but when I go outside, I look at the sky, it's blue, not red, not green, not yellow, not the lights. Oh, my God, with this vacuum. I'm ready to tell this lady to pack her shit Just in two minutes. I'm getting ready to tell her. Two minutes. I'm giving her two minutes with the vacuum. Anyway, thank you. Silence. Uh, okay, so point being, there's, in reality, the bottom line is this. The rest is all BS. The rest is all BS. That's the bottom line. The, <laughs> the truth is, America voted for Donald Trump. That's it. There is no conspiracy. There is nothing there. There is nothing else to do. There is no... You know. They're going to try, and they will do this, and, they're going, and they are doing this. They're going to try, and the next thing is, I'm predicting and I'm telling you, they're going to try to impeach Donald Trump. Trust me. That, that this, this is the next thing coming. 
Um, the idea is to hold strong, get stronger, and understand this, that it's going to take every American that voted for Donald Trump to stand up for Donald Trump and through this presidency and ensure that there is not a crack in this, uh, this great movement that got him elected, as well as try to educate those who still don't seem to get it, to understand and educate them, and keep our congressmen and senators on their toes at all times and let them not forget who voted them in as well. To all, they need to remember, you know, listen. And this is something I believe that they have done with, the, with our system in the United States and they do it around the world. Uh, they take, they, they lead people to believe that they don't have any power and they want you to believe that you're powerless. When in fact, we, we the people hold the power, not the government, not the globalists, not the elite, the people hold the power. And I believe many people seem to forget that. And because of fear and mis misinformation and fake news and fake media and the like, they want to take you from here and make you believe you're here and that you cannot do anything to stop this, that you cannot. Yet, if you look at it, you just did something without really even knowing it, so to speak, by your vote alone, change the outcome of this election and, we, and stop Hillary Clinton and this great democratic lying bullshit machine. Because, and they're dangerous. These people are dangerous. I mean, trust me, they, as you can see, what they have done to our country and what they do around the world, these people are dangerous. They don't care about you and I, they care about themselves. But you've already done, you've already made a difference. You've made a huge difference. So don't get complacent and think that you cannot make a difference again, or that you can take that difference that you've already made and thus with Donald Trump because they're going to throw everything at him. I'm telling you, it's going to get worse and worse and worse, and it's they're ramping this up. They are ramping it up uh, because change is coming, and change has already begun, and they don't like it. They don't like it. Um, uh, that you cannot impeach Obama anymore, Pat. It's done. People need to stop calling for the impeachment of Obama. Okay, that that's enough. Enough with impeaching Obama. Obama needs to go. He's leaving. And thereafter, when the investigations take place, if it comes up in proof that, uh, that Obama, which it should be and will come up, that you know, he was involved with lots of things, then they will deal with that at the time. It's very simple. They, you know, it could be war crimes. It could be anything. Obama can, just so you know, he can pardon himself before he leaves for any crimes he may have committed while president. So wake up, America. You're not going to impeach Obama. It's not happening. So please, let's stop on that and move forward because it, you can't be stuck on this. Obama's not getting impeached. It's not happening. Um, uh, yes, Elaine, this week is going to get every day worse and worse and worse, and we're set to go into inauguration in the war zone, but there's a lot of good patriots that are going to be there. And uh, Monica, what grounds are they going to use to impeach him? Okay, I'm going to say this slowly again. Right now, they have called for Senate investigation hearings. Okay? They're claiming, and they want to, they want to interview people within Donald Trump's organization, and possibly even Trump himself, because they're saying that they have, and this is a closed-door investigation, okay? This is a closed-door investigation to the American public. Understand this. And this Senate hearings are going to happen. This is not a farce. This is the truth. And the plan is, with these Senate hearings, is they're going to claim, as they already have, that they're starting to claim that Donald Trump conspired, and Donald Trump's people conspired with Putin and Russia to undermine this uh, Hillary Clinton and to win the election. This is their last and final card. This is their last and final card. This is their last and final card. Okay, and it's a big card. It's a huge card. Okay, it's a very, very big card. And thus... They are also using that. So let's just say they come out and say that, that Donald Trump did interfere, work with the Russians on, fa on false reports, okay? They already put out false FBI reports already to have you believe that Putin and them interfere with our elections, okay? And in fact, you tell me, um, uh, let's get Mr. Trump safely in office before we go any further. Uh, no, we need to keep going right now. <laughs> no, everything needs to keep going right now. Um, 
Who's this Sh Susan Schoen Schoenberg bullshit? Okay. Bye. Pack your shit, Susan. Have a nice day. I know, I guess, you know, I guess every, myself and about a thousand other news organizations and the senators that have called for the investigation are not calling for it, right? You know, it's, it's bullshit. No, it's not bullshit, and it's ignorant people like this woman who think that this is bullshit that got us here in the first place because she's a mealable troll, and they praise it. Oh, my God, between vacuuming, now spraying, house cleaning, you know, fuming, like things, like, for really? Any other noise we can have today? Anyway, uh, this is the problem. It's people like these trolls who, and, then, and this is the problem. People will believe, oh my God, the Russians are on our border. The Russians are coming. The Russians made me push the button and change the election for poor Hillary Clinton. Not. And these people believe this shit. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. And I, I, I ask myself this question every day and talk to many other people that, you know, we are all in the same game and on the same side. And we're all like to ourselves, like, what? In, it's, liberalism is a disease. It's like bipolar disorder. It's like, you know, depression. It's like anything. I'm telling you, it's like alcoholism. It's like the above. Liberalism truly has come, become a disease because these people are been brainwashed. I, there, there's nothing, I mean... And they actually believe, it's like pathologically, they believe what they're spewing. Oh, no, the Senate's not going to hold any hearings. No, they're not asking to question uh, uh, Trump's people. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, they can't do that. They can't do that. Let's do that. No, yes, they can. And Trump can't stop that. He can't stop a Senate investigation. They're just so, you know, people need to remember how the U.S. government works. We have checks and balances in place, okay? Supposed to be. Okay? But there are branches and systems and things and laws in place to have checks and balances. Just because Obama has never used, they don't, haven't gone after Obama using those checks and balances in, 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 point, you know, in, in major stance, doesn't mean they're not there. So now they're, they're, they're reaching deep into their barrel of bullshit and laws that they can use to try to undermine the situation and create a new situation based on false reports created by our intelligence community. So I'm going to ask you all something. If the CIA tells you that Russia interfere with our election, and they put out these reports, and the reports are false, how are you going to stop the CIA from reporting bullshit? I'm going to ask you, in our country, what is the checks and balances to stop uh, the NSA and the CIA the, and the FBI, these most very powerful intelligence agencies, from basically pulling off the biggest lie, okay, in, 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 in U.S. history about the Russians? We've already expelled, we've wrongfully expelled Russian ambassadors and the like, from here, we've already put it, and Putin has been a gentleman about it and not retaliated back basing on, you know, Donald Trump coming in and that he can make some peace with him. What do, the big picture here you all need to understand is that the globalists do not want the United States to have a good relationship with Russia. That's why Obama has shut down Russia. They're trying to destroy Russia. They are surrounding Russia with our troops and UN and NATO forces as we speak. Do you all understand this? This is the bigger picture. They don't want good U.S.-Russian relationship. They want the world to believe that Russians is big, bad fucking bear that wants to come in and invade your country and rip your neck out and come and sit at your front porch and take your, you know, take your country and your rights away from you when, in fact, it's all bullshit. This is the globalist and the elite's plan. Get it? So what better way to say, and Obama's the one that destroyed the relationship we had with Russia to begin with. And they are the other next superpower, as, as is China next to us. While Obama has allowed our military to be depleted, he's pulled in our forces, he sent our forces and left us bare-boned at home. Understand why is he doing this? There's a much bigger agenda going on here. And the point is to dump this in Donald Trump's lap. The point is, is that globalist the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the, the whole group of them and above do not want peace with Russia. Understand this. And Donald Trump is the man in the way. He's the man in the way. Because he can, with Putin, and rightfully should, for our safety and for Russia's safety, come to some peaceful agreement that these are two countries, regardless of one being communist and ours being of democracy, come to some neutral agreement 
to let's focus on what's really at hand in the world. You know what that is? That's this, this terrorism plot by ISIS and Al-Qaeda and the like that was also a creation of the United States government with Saudi Arabia and the likes. And Putin has pointed this out to the world, and he truly is against terrorism. He will not allow, he will not allow even Muslims into the country. And, and this is nothing against Muslims, I'm sorry to tell you, but Russia does not even want you there, regardless if you're good or bad or the like. And you know what? If you want to call that communism, that's great. But guess what? They don't have people committing terrorist acts, very, very minimal, very minimal in Russia. And when they do, it's usually carried out by RCIA or the likes and to make a false flag attempt in Russia to un upset Russia. This is a very sick game, everybody, and people need to understand this. This isn't even about Russia hacking our elections. This is about us pulling off, trying to pull off, the United States and Obama and the likes trying to pull off one of the greatest U.S. lies in the history and false flags in the history of this country. Blame the Russians. And when people start to get killed from it, and that's what comes from this. So understand, they are affecting the lives of not just every American, but they are affecting the lives of every Russian and everybody on this planet by this sick game. So you all need to, you know, people need to take their head and remove it from their ass and understand what's truly happening. Because if you do not, you're going to wake up one day and you're going to say, oh, shit. And when you say, oh, shit, if you even wake up on that particular day, if something truly does happen, because we are nuclear powers, there are weapons on this planet that will destroy each other if it comes down to that. People need lose sight of that. People lose sight of the fact that we need peace on the world. If not, you will be obliviated. Because there are weapons that exist, okay, that can annihilate us and Russia and China and the likes of everyone off this globe. People seem to forget that. Maybe somebody should get a lesson on nuclear, you know, uh, uh, ballistic missiles 101. Because, you know, it only takes one of them to get across, okay, just one, just one, to get across to create nuclear, you know, devastation and the likes and this planet has already destroyed itself enough times already, and people have already destroyed themselves over hate, anger, despair, power, and greed, the most important part of it. And they use innocent people to carry out their major agenda. And if you want to keep being a pawn in that game, go right ahead. If you don't want to be keeping a pawn in that game, then stand up, open your mouth, do something of substance, or sit the fuck down. It's the bottom line. And shut up. Okay, I can't stand people who love to do, oh, do, 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 yet they don't do anything. They don't do shit. They don't do anything. They just like to sit at home behind their computer. I call it, you know, uh, let, let's call it internet balls, okay? That you sit behind a, a screen and you say all these wonderful things and you say, oh, blah, 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 but what really are you doing? Tell me. Just creating more drama. Keep running your mouth. Start sharing. Start opening your mouth. Start putting the truth out there. Start standing up. Start getting your ass to, like, inauguration. Let's start getting your ass to doing something else that can support this cause and put the truth out there to protect America and its Constitution and your rights. Bottom line. Because you can wake up one day when following this sick game, and that's what the liberals don't seem to understand. The liberals don't get that we do have weapons of mass destruction and that this sick game that's being played by the globalists and they're falling along with it and the Democrats well, just, you know, marching along like little things, they're there to rip your rights away as well as to destabilize the globe. Where do you think you get, where do you think you get millions of refugees being strewn across this planet into Germany, the United States, Canada now from George Soros and the like? Do you think this is just some coincidence? Do you liberals really think this is a coincidence and you want, you know, oh my God, let them in. This is wonderful. You know, we have borders in this world for a reason. Why? Because, you know, the Roman Empire even fell, okay? That's, point being, there's borders for a reason. Why? Because not everybody's on the same side. Not everybody's on the same side. Not everybody is also playing with a full deck. And there are people that belong outside the wall and outside there and stay in their own space and not invade your space because they're not safe. That's why we have borders in this country that, and, and around the world. That's why other countries do. And you can see how well the EU is doing, right, as, as open borders and the like. And you can see what Germany's doing with, you know, millions of refugees streaming across there, over a million refugees. They're doing real good. We can see how London's doing with its new Muslim, you know. We can see how all this going. It's, it's falling. It's being destroyed. And that's what they want. 
The EU is falling apart. And this was the first big major thing that happened for globalists. You know, let's get them in place. Da, 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 da. Not doesn't work. The UK was strong enough to stand up in Brexit and the people said enough there. The United States is strong enough to stand up and say, with Trump, enough here. It's happening all over. South Korea just stood up and by the almost a million people, hundreds of thousands of people protested for 10, 12 days a straight. They got rid of their president and said, no, nope, we don't want you anymore, lady. You're done. Have a nice day. I, I wait for the day. People have been complained about Barack Obama for eight years. Since when? Did you see even 5,000 people stand up and go to Barack Obama's address and say, hey, listen, asshole, I don't like what you're doing. I don't want you here anymore. That's the difference between our country and other countries. People in America need to get some balls. People in America need to stand up. People in America need to stop complaining and start doing. Okay? Words are nothing without actions. And you already did that by voting for Donald Trump. Okay? So you did. You stood up and you voted for Trump, then guess what? You need to go to the next level. It's not up. All I hear is, Donald Trump will fix it. Donald Trump will fix it. Donald Trump will fix it. This poor man, has been, you know, he's doing everything that he can in his power, and look at the resistance that he's hitting. I mean, major resistance by very powerful people across this planet, not just in the United States. So it's going to take every American that stood up and voted for him to stand up to back him and ensure that his policies are following through in this country, or I can assure you, and not even that, this man has to live with that of his, the, his life every day, what he eats, where he goes, what he drinks, whatever, because there are enemies from within. That is not a joke, that's not a movie, that's a truth. There are people in this planet that will start a war to suck the United States into a war and cause World War III and the destruction thereof, because that's their plan. This is not some sick movie. This is not some sick game. This is the truth. And it's about time people accept the truth so that they can stop this madness from happening. Because if you do not stop this madness from happening, you may not wake up one day and there will be a nuclear explosion in your backyard or an EMP, and you won't have any electronic devices, your entire no banking system, no nothing, and then civil war will break out and you will have martial law and these people will take over. And you know what? You can only blame yourselves. So it's either, you know, put up or shut up. And that's the bottom line. And open your, open your brain to understand the truth. It's like haters. Haters put out shit all the time. People go, oh my God, yeah. really? It, really? Really. It's just like the Russians did it, right? Yeah. Okay. My point being, wake up. And otherwise, you may not wake up one day. And it's not fear. That's the truth. I like how people go, oh, my God, this is not about liberty. He's, you know, people are trying to be misled. This is a cult. This is that. No, this is the truth. <laughs> this is the truth. Do you not see what happens around the country? Do you not see what's happened to our country alone? Do you not see Barack Obama streaming in and, and Hillary's speeches to private bankers behind the scenes telling them one global world government is wonderful. We need to have open borders and, you know, blah, 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 and, you know, spread this, 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 this. Happiness and joy. No, not. Because in that happiness and joy are people who want to destroy each other and want to destroy America and destroy the democracy that this country exists on, was built on, that people died for. And our children don't even know this because they've cut that out of the education system. That our kids don't even know what 4th of July means. They don't even know what 1776 means. They don't even know who the fuck George Washington is. Really? Okay, because why not? Dumb down the children? Then you have the future, and you have the future socialists who follow along like good little robots and go along like you see today with the millennials going, oh, hey, you know, we're going to have sanctuary cities at our college. We're going to allow people to hang out here, and we should protect them and do whatever. Sure, wonderful. Yep, that's exactly what we should do. While the government keeps going into debt and we keep supporting all these people that are illegal aliens that do not belong here, as well as the ones that are murderers, drug dealers, and the like. But that's okay, right? That's okay for people. Let's just take care of them. No, have them pack their shit and leave. It's time America re re come be restored back to its roots. Let's look at Australia, everybody. You want to see a good comparison? Let's talk about Australia. Look at Australia and how many all their rights have been basically stripped to them from where they can't even. Just so you know, in Australia, if you talk, if you talk or say the wrong political thing or the like against someone else, you can be arrested. Okay? They've taken away their guns. They've taken away everything in Australia, and that's what you that they, that is the blueprint of what they wanted to do in the United States. And they were carrying that out until what? One man decided to step up and say, you know what? I'm going to run for president and I want change in this country because he's not one of them. He is not one of them. He is one of us. Money or not, he's one of us. And they will set out to do anything to destroy this. And thus you need to remember you are the one, we are the one that put the man in power. And thus we have the power to keep him there.
We have the power to keep him there the same way we had the power to vote him in there. And that's what America needs to remember every day until this is fixed, because it's going to take a very long fight and a very long time to do this because the, the corruption and the globalism and is so deeply entrenched throughout our country. And then you have this other side of this, these liberals and the like that do not even understand that tomorrow is fucking Monday. Okay? They'll say it's Tuesday, no matter what, even though the calendar shows it's Monday. And they'll say, you know what, why it doesn't show that is because we don't really recognize Monday because it's a day of, you know, whatever, it's too, disturbing. It's too, it's too distracting to me, whatever. As they sit there at their psychiatrist and go, oh my God, Hillary Clinton didn't win, blah, blah, blah. You know, right, really. Okay, pack your shit, go to your psychiatrist, waste your money, color in your books, and do the like. Because guess what, people in this country want to keep this country and take it back from what it is and from these people who just don't get it. Because they will wake up one day. If it was up to Hillary Clinton and Obama and the like of these people, they will wake up and you know what? America will no longer be America and it's almost already there. And thank God, and it is God's purpose to bring this in at this moment in time. And it's our purpose to stand behind, not just God, but this man, and fight for our rights in this country and stop corruption. Stop these, these publications from misleading people across the globe every day, feeding them garbage. And there is a way to stop them. There is a way to stop them. And it is us. It is the power of the people. Please remember this. Never lose sight of that. And people go, oh, we're doomed. We're this, we're that. No, we're not doomed. Just like people said every day, Donald Trump can't win. He'll never win. They laughed. They laughed. People laughed. Hillary Clinton, you know, every bit of cheating, lying, stealing, you name it. Donna Brazil. I'm, I'm, I didn't leak them questions to CNN. No, no, I'm a good Christian woman. No, you're not. You're a lying piece of shit. So let's get to the bottom of it. This is the point. You know, make America great again is a great slogan, but how about wake up America to make it great again? Wake up America. Wake up America. Wake up the world. <laughs> because if you do not wake up in this world, I can guarantee you, maybe not, you know, it depends on what time this is going to happen, but we're on the brink right now. You cannot keep pushing these certain countries to the limits, and there will be World War III, and people will not like it at all. And your life will be changed like you have never seen before. So pay attention. This is not fear-mongling. This, this is the truth. And people hate the truth. That's the problem. People don't like to face the truth. They don't like to face the truth about themselves. They don't like to face the truth about the government. They don't like to face the truth about the world. Because you want to know why? It's easier for them to go up and wake up every day and stay in their little world and not pay attention to what's happening around them and not be able to function and just go, okay, yeah, mm-hmm, this is wonderful. Have my coffee. Bypass this. Oh, this doesn't matter. This is good. Let me go to work. Let me spend some more money. Let me go pay some more taxes, pay some more bills, pay some more interest, buy some more shit. That makes me successful and wonderful. While our country and our world just falls apart around them, okay, that's a great way to be. This is a changing time in our entire globe, not just in, and I don't, when I say globe, it's for people to stop globalism. It's for people to wake up to what the real agenda is here and, you know, like Agenda 21 and the likes, and they want to destabilize the world. They want to destabilize America, and they already have. They've done a very good job of it. Just look at now. If it's come down to our own intelligence agencies to have to fake a report to try to sacrifice, and excuse me, to try to substantiate a loss for Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party in itself, the people better pay attention because that's serious because these are the same agencies that feed our president and our commanders information about other countries on whether we should attack them, not attack them, what we should do in very serious situations. So if they can fake this information, they can fake anything that can go and controls the planet's overall safety. So if the CIA comes and says, you know, Iran is doing about to nuke Israel, what if it's not true? If they can come around and, they, and CIA is known, President Kennedy has told the world, many, many people have told the world and told the U.S. people, CIA, break it apart, it's not good. We do need intelligence, yes, but we do not need it to have that much power, okay? Because there's black operations in there and the like, the same thing with the NSA. And Snowden showed you, Snowden showed the world what the NSA was about, and people were going, no, they wouldn't spy on me. Nope, 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 they wouldn't spy on me. They spy on us more than they do Russia and China. Fact. Why would you have to spy on your own people in a democratic society? Ask yourself that question. Why does the government want to spy on people like you and me and the like, who, don't, you know, for real, we're not a threat to the national security of this country. We're not a threat to the national security, you know, of this country or the world. But Russia and China and, you know, and the like, 
North Korea, or you should be worrying about them, not the American people. But this just goes to show you what their real agenda is and how they want to control you and how they, we, our rights are taken away. Excuse me. So this is what I'm saying. People need to wake up. This is not a big game. Uh, I don't think many people do realize that globalism is a form of com. It's communism, okay? It's control. In Australia, Liz, is a very serious story there. Uh, two people have been charged for inciting violence against Muslims. Is, you know, Australia is in a very serious situation as a country, and they are, they, are, they, are, they are advanced in the globalistic agenda. And this is a serious matter. And I use this as an example because this is where America is headed. But thank God if we, we put Donald Trump in, Australia needs a Donald Trump right now. Okay? Point being, America, take head out of ass and pay attention. And this is not fear-mongering to do anything. This is just the truth. It's the truth. This is the truth. Control everything. Islamic insurgency, yes. Very close. <laughs> this is serious stuff. Sorry, guys. There's guys are from Rutgers in here, and uh, they're in the conference room. Uh, Marcella, I'm going to tell you what's happening in Mexico, okay? I said this a little earlier, but let's talk about petroleum. Just so you all know, and you can do some very deep, deep, and our information is clear. Did you know the United States shut off the spigot of selling oil to Mexico to create this situation that Mexico has? Mexico is now buying its oil from China. Understand this, okay? I reported this a few weeks ago. Nobody caught on to it. And then all of a sudden, riots started to break out in, in Mexico over the high price of oil. That's because... the Mexico gets a large portion of its petroleum from the United States. And Obama, in his scorched earth policy, quietly has ta shut off the tap to Mexico. People don't want to believe that. They think this is the government and the drug dealers raising the prices of oil. Uh, no. Okay? This is another big force. They have been buying. They just had just gotten in from tankers. They're waiting for tankers. I think they got them. I have to check on that. But from China. Okay? Obama's trying to cut off. Obama's trying to make it that. Our own coal manufacturers, our own coal companies, cannot produce coal in this country to send out to other countries as well as to fuel our own country. This is on his way out the door as well and what he's done even there. We get most of our coal, just so everybody knows, from Central America. Why are we buying coal from Central America when the United States is full of coal? I mean, uh, from Pennsylvania and the like, people's jobs in Pennsylvania, and I, I'm living, having a place in a small town in Pennsylvania, which was originally coal country, I mean, it is coal country, and it was a very, you know, thriving town, is no longer thriving because the coal mines are, you know, you can't, there's no, we don't get our coal in the United States, and Donald Trump has promised to bring that back. So I'm giving you an example. Obama and the likes are trying to make it that we cannot even export coal from this country as well as even dig it, you know, to, to excuse me, mine it here. So, yes, it skyrocketed in a week from 129 to the likes. Um, and people, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is a big, if you look at all of this, I'm going to tell you all this. It doesn't matter how smart you are or how not you are. You have to look at this entire thing as like a big board game, okay? You look at this as a big board game. You see all the countries. You then have a box at the top, and you're going to put these people at the head at the top, okay? From the Rothschilds to the Rockefellers to J.P. Morgan Chase, these and families, to Bilderberg, the likes, the shifts, these families, right? They're all up here. And here's this board, okay? They have their puppets all the way down, including that of the U.S. presidency here. We'll say, you know, U.K. here. We'll say Australia here. We'll say Canada here, right? So they're all in here. And these people in this box are like this. Okay, let's do this over here. Let's do this over here. Let's do this over here. In this box, this is the puppet masters. These people, they put them in place. 
so that they can control them, so that they can control the entire world. It's really just that simple. It, it, it's really just that simple. And this is what they do. And then you have like George Soros down the ladder up here. Then you have, you know, this is all here. You have the John McCain's. Then you have the Council of Foreign Relations. You have the UN. Okay, you have the UN, G8. You know, all these, let's, let's put all these, you know. These boxes are underneath this big box. And this is what happens. And the idea is to control this entire planet and have these puppets in place and they groom them from high school, from kids. They groom them right through our schools and around the planet from Harvard to the Yale to the likes. That's where you get skull and bones. That's where you get, you know, and these are true society, you know, true societies, the Illuminati. You get that of the Freemasons and the like. This is all this, this is all this is. It's really just that simple. And the people, here's the deal. If they can control the people, and how you control the people, health care, food, you know, pricing, everything, you know, it all comes down the slime. If you can control the people, they put in place these false propagandists to control the people and the likes, and thus they benefit and get richer and stronger from it as our population decreases because one of the biggest problems is population. And these people up here believe that they should control everybody here and that there should be only amount X amount of people on this planet to control. So this is what I'm saying. It's just that simple. And what happens is, is when they lose control over a, a country, and right now they're losing control over the United States. And this is making them angry. This is making them pissed off. This is saying this is going to hurt us. Donald Trump is even talking about, you know, we don't need the UN. We don't need this. He's talking about busting apart this thing. Stop funding them. Let's stop funding the Chinese. I mean, this is, you are, this is, this is very serious. Because they have used the United States as a hub. These powerful elite have used the United States as a hub, without people really knowing it, to control the rest of this globe. That's why you see the United States, as you want to call the policemen, people go, why are we interfering in that country? Why are we interfering in that country? Why is there a war going on over there? Why are we sending our soldiers over here when you know we have nothing to do with these people? Why? Because they have used the United States and the president and the puppets thereof to use you. It's, you know, your sons, your daughters, the like, the, anybody, if you're a patriot. They have used our army, our military, our strength that people fought and died for to use it to control their greater power. Bottom line. The UK, the same thing. They're tied with us. They're part of the same thing in Europe. It's the same thing. They use us to control their bigger agenda. And the, as long as people go along with this, in this picture here, these people right here will continue to do this. And you know what? One day you will wake up, if you do or not, and you're going to see, and this is no bullshit, because people think, oh, you know, Russia will never push the button or, you know, uh, you know, anybody. Pakistan won't push the button or India won't push the button or, you know, Iran is going to be okay with a, with a nuke, you know. Israel has nukes, just so you know, and Israel will use their weapons if they have to. Don't kid yourself. Israel's had we nuclear weapons for a very, very long time, and rightfully so. They're this very small place, okay, and, and surrounded by madness. So, point being, people need to wake up, and it's really just that simple. It's just that simple. You don't need all the you know you don't need all the exact details or the likes of this. You just need to understand truthfully this is what's happening, so you don't fall along with this bullshit agenda and play along with their hand because they will keep playing their hand as long as they can. When they can't play their hand anymore, that's how you defeat them. And as it is right now, people are waking up across the globe as well as in the United States to stop globalism, and it's it's catching on like wildfire. And it, hopefully it will stay catching on like wildfire. And it's our job to make sure that it continues to grow and people wake up so that we can stop this madness. Because it is madness and it will affect generations to come. That's what people lose sight of. Selfish people look at today. It, you know, people who care look at tomorrow and the next day and the next day for their children, for themselves, you know, their grandchildren and the likes. And that's what they base their decisions on. People need to learn to base their decisions on the future, not today. So you need to look at the future and what world will be here and what it will be like if you have grandchildren or children or just for in, in, in humanity in, in, in overall. Because humanity as a whole 
needs to wake up and say, wait a second, what's it going to be like in five years, 10 years, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years down the line? And that's why decisions should be based on in, in, in creation of laws and the like. Because it will, it's just like the Supreme Court. When you pick the Supreme Court, that's why this election was so important to the United States. Because who controls the laws in this country? Really? The U.S. Supreme Court. So, if it was up to Hillary and Obama, if they, thank God, thank God, and this is, you know, God's hand at work, because Donald Trump will be able to pick the correct, non-biased Supreme Court justice, and probably up to two or three more while he's in power, to control the future of the United States, that's why they're really angry at this picture, is because, and Justice Scalia, I can guarantee you, was dead, was murdered. He was a hit, Judge Scalia was murdered, and the likes, just so that, because they planned on this great plan of Hillary Clinton coming in, and filling his space with who they wanted to be in there to take control of the United States completely. That backfired bad. This is what I'm trying to point out to you. All these different things, all these plans and all these things that they put in place have failed miserably. And you know who stopped them? We did. So if you think that you have no control and no power, you're very wrong because you've just used your power to elect a president. And now you need to use the same power to stay united and strong, and to ensure that he carries out his job, number one, and number two, that the Congress and the Senate do not blackball him and try to lock him up on his agendas to make America great again, as well as that as to go after the Federal Reserve and the like to stop this madness, because it's just that simple, and people say on here, what do we do, what do we do, you're already, you, you are, you are the power, we are the people, we are the power, don't lose sight of that. It's so super important that you do not lose sight that people have power. We are the power, not them. We elect them. We keep them in power. The day that the people, listen, here's the bottom line. The day that people decide, you know what, I don't want this anymore, and I mean really decide we don't want this anymore and rise up, these people are in deep trouble. It doesn't matter how many, you know, uh, you can call martial law all you want. <laughs> There's many more of us than there are them. Please remember that. If you were to get, let's just say, if there was civil unrest and 60 million Americans had voted for Donald Trump stood up, I don't care where you are in, this, in the United States. If 60 American people decided to just walk out their house, walk into the street, all together and start to say, listen, we're not going to take this anymore. You know, Obama's got, I'm just giving you an example. Obama could have been out of power a long time ago. Completely out of power a long time ago. What's up, brother? How are you? Um, This is my point. What's it going to take? So and just let's think of the opposite. If the, everybody who voted for Donald Trump were to say, you know what? Okay, I'm going to make sure this is, people know that I voted for Donald Trump and that we're working on something and it's not a protest and not the like that we can show and prove to the world that everybody who voted for Donald Trump voted because they wanted to and not because of any Russian bullshit or anything of the like. And I think it's going to be very successful. So, um, Uh, yes, wet job is a hit assassination. Okay, this is like this is old news, though, everybody. My point is this. Don't focus on the past. This man gets sworn in in five days. It's time to focus on the future, stay strong, and to remember why and who voted this man into power, not the Russians and the like, and stop buying into this great big, great big U.S. lie. It is bullshit. Remember, you have the power. We have the power to stop this as well as to control it, good or bad. And you can't blame anybody else but ourselves if it goes south because you can stand up against this you can revolt against this in many ways and it's peaceful ways you don't have to get violent you don't have to be anything of the like peacefully exactly this is fake fear mongering news that you listen to every day and the people that do stand up against, against it sure you may suffer a little oppression I, say, I suffer oppression and hate every day. Guess what? It's worth it to me. You want to know why? It's worth it to me because there's a much bigger, much bigger, bigger evil here that needs to be stopped, including that of those of haters. <laughs> troll alert. Who's the troll?
I don't know who it is, but I don't care. Anyway, point being, please, everybody, remember your vote matters. Remember, this is not the Russians that did this. This is complete propaganda. And these people are really, they have the audacity. They have the audacity. I want you to think about this, and I'm going to end on this. These, these people have the audacity, the liberals, the Dems, the people, they have the audacity to say that your vote was controlled by that of the Russians and that Donald Trump may have conspired with the Russians to win the election and thus to win your vote. I want you to think about that. They truly have the audacity to say and do this.